Kojo Nam. And we're marking my 20th year on air by getting out of the studio and popping up around the region to talk to you where you shop, work, and play. Today, we're at the Eden Center in Falls Church. If you haven't been here before, it's a feast for the senses. There are more than 100 businesses featuring everything from Vietnamese cuisine to beauty supplies and jewelry. But this is not just a shopping destination. The Eden Center has been a gathering place for the Vietnamese community for more than three decades. And it means different things to different people. Give me a sense of the history of the Eden Center and the community that is central to it. Sure. Um, Eden Center came into being about the mid-80s. The owner of the shopping strip uh, realized that there's the opportunity to make it more than just a business uh, place, but also a community meeting place. So it's clearly not just the shopping. Why is this place important to your community? The Vietnamese are very communal people. We, uh, we like to get, let, get together. Uh, we like to eat the food, speak the language, hear the music. Uh, it reminds us a little bit of what we've lost. Mr. Lee, how have you seen Eden Center change over the years you've been here? Dan thì người vô kể ra nhiều lắm, nghĩa là họ vô vài năm, năm năm rồi họ rủ nội họ đi ra vì không đủ khách để mà trả tiền tiền ra thân thuộc phải ra. Còn ở đây thì tụi tôi trong gia đình phải cố gắng làm thì trả đủ. What is this business most noted for? Our specialty is uh, from a region of Quê, where my parents came from. Um, it's known for its delicate balances of spices, uh, much more spices than the other region because it's the imperial region of Quê, uh, of Vietnam, which is, uh, you know, as you imagine, you're cooking for the king. You gotta get your spices together. This is called Tinam Noti. Actually, this is a black noti. So I cook, uh, I brew for fresh tea every day, and I mix it with milk. And with, if you are like your uh, essence sugar, and we shake it up. So those bubble that appear on top is called bubble tea. But those, this one, uh, the ball right here is called tapioca balls. Yeah. So it's chewy. It make from tapioca powder, and then everything here is just fresh and healthy. The theme of this cafe. Right is bubble tea and EDM music. Yes. Where did that come from? So, um, I'm a fan of EDM music, big fan. Um, so, <laughs> tea and EDM, you know, we it would be a good combination for both good tea and good music, why not? So do you find that Eden Center is now appealing more to younger people? Yes, so I, I see a lot of young people coming here. I see they're, they not come with their family no more, but they come with their friends, you know. And we can't usually hear it, they only come with their family. But now they come with a friend that bring a lot more people come in here and it's like diversity. What am I about to drink here? So this is a moonlight mango. It has like a mango and peach in a jasmine green tea with chia seed, healthy, and then with mango jelly on your cup right there. You should try it. Yeah. Your, your first time, right? Yeah. All Cheers. Right. Cheers. You're supposed to oh. choose though. The mm. jelly. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Yeah. I come from mango country in the Caribbean, I loved it. You did? Okay, all right. My lamb, what role does dining play here at the Eden Center? How many restaurants are there? 
Um, I don't know exactly because there's a lot of Russian that comes and go in this particular location. But I know overall total is probably over 25 restaurants in this particular location. So a lot of people come here to dine. Definitely. For any authentic cuisine, people love to come here. Well, your parents owned a business here for more than 30 years, but it was a jewelry store. Correct. In the same storefront location. Correct. Why did you decide to switch to a restaurant? Well, the jewelry store we started at was for my dad's um, business after he passed away and the economy wasn't as great as it used to be anymore. So with my mom being a very good chef herself, she's done a lot of catering business and she loved to cook so we figured that maybe it's time to change this and we flipped into making it into a restaurant industry because we believe that this, this kind of industry would be something that would be different and everyone has to eat. So. How did your mother, after running a jewelry store for more than 30 years, how did she respond to the change? How did she feel about the change? Oh, it was hard at the beginning because we always, we always want to keep the legacy of what my dad or my family has left behind. But now she's gone to follow her passion and she feels like this is great for her. It's love that she loves to do, that she's really good at. Everything at the right time, the restaurant fits right now. So what are we looking at here? Uh, what are you looking at right here is two of one of the most popular dishes that we carry in this area. Well, the first dish is a rice platter sheet uh, with, served with broken jasmine rice with pork chops, eggs, meatloaf, uh, shredded pork, uh, with shrimp paste, uh, Chinese sausage, and uh, shrimp and um, shrimp rolls and chicken rolls. That's the everything dish. And that is everything so you can try varieties of different things. But it's served with a very special sauce, which we do with Asian food with a lot of fish sauce we carry. So it's still with every single dish we have. So we can, you can pour it in, you can dip it, but without the sauce, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> so the sauce is our main ingredients here as well. I'd like to try something. Can I try? Sure. Let me try. What am I having here? That is a shrimp uh, rolled with uh, lumpia lumpy skin. So you can dip with that sauce to try it out. Done. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. I, I might never leave. <laughs> supermarkets here in the Eden Center. I've noticed that there are quite a few kinds of similar businesses here. Jewelry stores, beauty salons, bakeries. How do all of these businesses stay in business? How do they stay competitive? So for me, uh, for us, we, we market specifically Vietnamese people. So most of my merchandise would be uh, very friendly to the Vietnamese. Uh, versus the bigger stores, it's in general they market toward Asians and Laos, the Cambodians, and everybody else. Um, there is a big enough uh, Vietnamese community that for us to market toward them. So, is uh, this a destination? Where do people come from to come to the Eden Center? So a lot of customers come out of from uh, out of town like from Maryland, D.C., New Jersey, North Carolina, um, all you know, the state that's close by. So there's no place else like the Eden Center anywhere in this region? No, uh, Eden Center is the biggest uh, Vietnamese community here and everybody comes here. Um, you can go to New York City and it is a very big Chinatown, but that's not Vietnamese, that's Chinese. Yeah. Uh, this is mostly Vietnamese. So what is it I see going on in your front window out here? I see. Um, I ha we have, we're very popular for roast pig, roast pork, and roast ducks and chicken. It's uh, one of our, uh, you know, big selling items too. We used to have the jewelry store when we were in Vietnam and when the first time we came here my husband had the 
in his mind, you know, we want to open our own business. I very proud, you know, the a part of the Eden Center. A lot of uh, me to come together, and we separate, uh, you know, the our speak our lang to speak our language to, you know, retain our culture. The country is now locked into a bitter debate over immigration. So my question to you is, how does it feel in this current climate to be an immigrant? It's a question that I can answer myself, but I'm the one asking the questions now. So what does it feel like to you to be an immigrant in this current climate? Sure. Um, you know, it, it's, it's tough. I, I, I think as a refugee, who came here and saw how the community uh, was built from the ground up, I think it's very important for us to uh, be inclusive and, and allow not just, you know, the best and the brightest to come in to do, you know, the, uh, the, the technical jobs, the, the, the difficult jobs, but we need the cooks, the, uh, the entrepreneur, we need, you know, we need the bakers, we need you need uh, the, 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 the carpenters, uh, people who are willing to kind of do the work that lays the foundation for a community. And, uh, and what's going on right now really concerns me because, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're not celebrating diversity anymore, but we're celebrating skill sets. And because a lot of immigrants are feeling insecure right now, what does a community like Eden Community do? What role can it play to help people to feel more grounded, more secure? Well, um, uh, Eden Center has kind of become like a comforting place for us. Uh, Vietnamese food is comfort food for many of us. Um, as a matter of fact, we can't go too long without <laughs> craving for Vietnamese food. Um, uh, the community, I think as a whole, um, embraces its own, just like any other community uh, that came before us. And I think right now, um, more and more than ever, uh, we need a sense of belonging. Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn